What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to put some windows in your garage door. All right guys, so I'm a big proponent of good light and the winter's coming, so that means the garage door is gonna be shut in our garage gym. Uh, I've been looking for some alternatives to get some light in there. I've actually, I've got six scan lights and two big LED lights and they're nice, but not having natural light makes a really big difference. I considered putting a window in our wall that would be on that side, but wall space, since we only have three walls anyway, is kind of a high commodity in our garage. So I started looking into windows for our garage door. And to replace a whole panel from like one end to the other was gonna be super expensive. It was like 1500 bucks or something like that. And our garage door panels are fine. So that was kind of a tough pill to swallow. Something else I looked into was replacement windows that take out um, one of these squares, but they look cheap and it was plexiglass. So I didn't really like that option and I couldn't find another good one. So I came up with my own option and I'm gonna walk you guys how we do that today. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I've got a grinding wheel right here. It's got a thin cutting blade on it, and I'm gonna trace out uh, the square that is indented in. So this indention's gotta go because I need a flat surface for my window on the backside. So I'm literally gonna cut this panel out and get rid of it. All right guys, so that took me probably about five minutes, so it was really quick and easy. Uh, garage door metal is super thin, and this little wheel cuts it like nothing. So I've cut all, all these squares, I've made sure that there's nothing, no burrs or anything going on to the inside where the glass is gonna go, and toss those in the garbage and we're onto the inside. All right, so I've got all these cut out and it's made a drastic difference in here. This feels like a sunroom instead of like an enclosed box. So this is already a drastic difference. Uh, the pieces that I looked at where I kind of got the idea of this was going to be like a plastic insert with a plexiglass window in there that like clamped to each side. And it looks super cheap, even though they were cheap too. I think they're like 30 bucks a piece. I just didn't like them from the outside. They're not going to look good. And I didn't really like the idea of them being just cheap plastic. So what I've got is actual glass. Um, I had these cut in a local glass shop. You guys could easily just Google like, you know, glass cutter or a lot of times the people that do windows windows and mirrors will be able to cut glass for you as well so i also did this in a way that i'm not i didn't get pieces to cover each window separately i've gotten a piece to cover each section so this piece of glass will give me two windows and what that does it'll also strengthen the garage door as well as the glass and what i'm going to be doing is gluing this on so i'm going to use a super strong adhesive to be able to sandwich the glass in here that'll be glued the top, the bottom, the middle, and each side, and that's what's gonna hold it in. Now, a lot of times they do this in construction for mirrors as well. If you ever are in a bathroom and the mirror's just up on the wall, it's just glued there. Um, I've done that myself, and they're also really hard to get off, so I've had to remove them as well. So glass is a good adhesive as long as it's clean, and that metal will stick to as well. Also, just, I forgot to mention, each of these pieces of glass was about $18. So it's really cheap and, pretty cost effective, and that's cheaper than the plexiglass windows that I was looking at. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got some grip right. This is a really good bonding adhesive. Then I'm gonna put my caulk on, and everywhere the window's gonna be that is not gonna be visible, I'm just gonna do a bunch of squiggly lines so I can smoosh that window in there. I'm gonna get the edges. I can wipe that from the other side if I need to, if anything comes out. Being super generous with this stuff. There we go. So from there, I'm gonna take my window and it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I know that I can get it in there. I gotta go below that little part. And now I want to be sure that that sticks really well. So I'm going to move it around quite a bit so that it smears on the glass. And there's really good connection between the two. 
I know that it'll stick. But the better I can get this, now, the more peace of mind I got. All right guys, so I've got all the windows in now and it was pretty easy on the inside once I had those cut out. It probably took me another five minutes to actually get the windows installed. Uh, since it's just glass and there's no pieces, I'm just gluing them on. It was really easy to do. Uh, my next step is gonna be adding some window tent since there is you know, some high value stuff in the garage. We don't necessarily wanna be that just on being advertised from the outside in. So what I've got is some metallic or it's a mirror window film. So you can see out and there'll maybe just be a slight um, tent going from the outside, inside out, but from the outside, it'll be a mirror finish so that you can't see in from the outside, which just gives us a little bit more privacy and keeps our stuff a little bit more secure, hopefully. Alright, so I've cut a piece of this, which is going to be the window tent for one of these windows. Um, I don't think I mentioned the whole roll of this, which will do all of the windows, was 30 bucks. So I think I'll be completely in for maybe 110 to do this whole project, which is really reasonable. Um, so I've cut this piece, and the first thing that you do is a really thin layer on the back side that you've got to start unpeeling. And I had already made the mistake of taking that off completely on the first one, and this turned into a nightmare, so don't do that. Um, it got super sticky and that piece was trash. So what I'm going to do now is use a spray bottle and I'm going to wet this window. I'm going to get it super wet. Then I'm going to start this thing in the corner and then I'm going to squeegee the water out and that's what gets all the wrinkles out and I don't know exactly what makes it stick to be honest with you, but it does. So I'm going to start up top. want to get some of that on there so I can work the rest of this on. I'm literally just pushing the water out, trying to get any of the bubbles or wrinkles to go along with it. I might need to pull some of this back a little bit. So I'm not pushing it so far. All right, so I've got both these windows tented and it's gonna look really good from the outside, but since you can still see the glue on the inside and it just looks a little unfinished, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white duct tape and I'm gonna basically create the picture frame just to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing from the inside out. All right, so that last step was a little bit unnecessary, or definitely not mandatory, but I've just kind of taped some white duct tape around here, which gets rid of the funkiness and just finish it off a little bit to just make it look like a finished window from the inside out. So what we'll do now is we'll go around front, show you what it looks like from the outside in. All right, so from the outside in, this just looks like a mirror. If I go up and peek in, I can't see what's on the inside. I just get a reflection looking back out at the road in comparison to the one next to it where you can kind of see more or less right through. That gives us a little bit of privacy and these definitely need to be cleaned off. Um, the last thing that I will do actually, which I've done to these windows over here, is from the outside, I've taken some silicone caulk and I've caulked the outside, which will finish it and make it look a little bit nicer. And also anytime it rains and gets on here, it's just gonna fall right off the door. All right guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that. It shows you a pretty reasonably cheap way to get some light inside your garage. Um, if you guys liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, keep posted, we got some more coming for you.